So hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and we are now going to discuss subset versus proper subset. So it is actually set part 2.1 because we have already discussed set part 2. So subset and proper subset is actually part of the set part 2. So I am Sir Benji. So ayan, so let's start with our discussion. First is the subset. So a subset is a set of which all the elements are contained in another set. So again, it is a set of which all the elements are contained in another set. So for example, a set A is a subset of set B. So if all elements of A are also elements of B. So we have to reiterate that all elements of A are also elements of B. Then if that happens, B is then a superset of A. So to better understand it, we have an example. A has an element of A, B, C, and D, and B has an element of A, B, C, D, and E. So in a Venn diagram, we have A has an element of A, B, C, and D, and B has an element of A, B, C, D, and E. So you will notice na yung elements ni A is a part of an element of B. So that is why we say that B is a superset of A. So since all the elements of A are also elements of B, then we can say that A is a subset of B. So another example, we have a has an element of A, B, C, D, and E, and B also has an element of A, B, C, D, and E. So if you will see in a Venn diagram, we have A has an element of A, B, C, D, and E, and B has the same element, which is A, B, C, D, and E. And since from the definition, all elements of A must be also an element of B, so still we can say that A is a subset of B. Next up is the proper subset. So proper subset is a set of which all the elements are contained in another set. So it is like a subset but there's a difference. So if A is a proper subset of B, then all elements of A are in B. But B contains at least one element that is not in A. So you have to remember that. B contains at least one element that is not in A. So for example, we have a has an element of A, B, C, and D, and B has an element of A, B, C, D, and E. So, in a Venn diagram, it looks like this. So, you will see that the elements of A is A, B, C, and D, which is also part of the elements of set B. But there is one element that is not part of A, which is E. So, we can say that A is a proper subset of B. Another example, if we have A has an element of A, B, C, D, and E, and B is, has an element of A, B, C, D, and E, and it looks like this. So you will notice that all the elements in A is also an element of B, but it fails the definition that B contains at least one element that is not in A. So walang natira, lahat element. So we can say that A is not a proper subset of B. To summarize up, we have subset and proper subset. We have this figure and we have these conclusions. So we can say that not all subset can be a proper subset. And that's it for today. So thank you so much for watching this video. God bless.